Acts 17. God that made the world and all things therein, seeing that He is Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made with hands, neither is worship with men's hands as though He needed anything, seeing He giveth to all life and breath and all things, and hath made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell on all the face of the earth, and hath determined the times before appointed and the bounds of their habitation. That the, uh-oh, there's a bug. I'm fixing to show dominion. You better get back, boy. How many from up north and you've not seen a giant roach? Are you in the building today? Anybody in the building never seen a gigantic roach? I'll throw him on you. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> it's okay. Stay behind the line. Look up here. For in Him we live, say that in verse 28 with me, for in Him we live and move and have our being, as certain also of your own poets have said, etc., for we are of His offspring. Personally living for God, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ lives in me, and the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave Himself for me. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God. And everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. He that loveth not knows not God, for God is love. What did he think about living for God? Again, here's what he had to say about living for God. Thou abhorrest in thy creatures treachery and deceit, malice, revenge, intemperance, and every other hurtful vice. But thou art a lover of justice and sincerity, of friendship, benevolence, and every virtue. Thou art my friend, my father, and my benefactor. Praise be thy name, O God, forever. Amen. That I may be preserved from atheism and infidelity, impiety and profaneness, and in my addresses to thee carefully avoid what? irreverence and ostentation, formality. How about this? And what? Odious what? Hypocrisy. Help me, O Father. Next to the praise resulting from and due to His wisdom, I believe He is pleased and delights in the happiness of those He's created. And since without virtue man can have no happiness in this world, I firmly believe He delights to see me virtuous because he's pleased when he sees me happy. I love him, therefore, for his goodness, and I adore him for his wisdom. Amen? We're not too much longer. Hang in here. I wanted to show you his own Lord's Prayer that he wrote. You might say, Clark, why are you doing all that? Because you never hear that stuff. Amen? Say Here's his own version of the Lord's Prayer. And many of you know the Lord's Prayer, but so here, here's, here's what he said. Heavenly Father, may all revere thee and become thy dutiful children and faithful subjects. May thy laws be obeyed on earth as perfectly as they are in heaven. Provide for us this day as thou hast hitherto daily done. Forgive us our trespasses. Enable us likewise to forgive those that offend us. Keep us out of temptation and deliver us from Evil. Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Pretty close. In his autobiography, Franklin mentions a small book. And this is important for me that you know this. Benjamin Franklin carried a small book. How many knew this already? You knew he carried a little book with him at all times. Good. The man carried a little book with him at all times. It was this book. Right there. The 13 Virtues. I, I don't know if he wrote this. I think he just carried it, but it became known as the 13 virtues of Benjamin Franklin. This is one of our great leaders. All times. Here it is. First virtue, temperance. And here's what it said. Do not drink to elevation. No, I'm serious. That's what... That's what the Bible teaches too. The Bible teaches moderation. Your pastor doesn't drink. I don't drink. Okay? My mama drank enough for all of us. 
Okay? But temperance. Silence. Avoid trifling conversation. I ain't saying I got all these down. <laughs> Stop it. I don't carry this book. You know that, don't you? <laughs> Order. Let all your things have their places. Resolution. Perform without fail what you say you're going to do. Frugality. Waste nothing. I like that one. Industry. Lose no time. Be always what? Get a job! Number seven. Sincerity. Use no hurtful deceit. Think innocently. Now these are actually what's written. Here. Justice. Wrong none by doing injury. Carried it with him everywhere he went. And it said that I think, Raj, that he would take one of these a week. One of these a week. He wouldn't just read all of them. He'd take one a week and he would work on that one all week. That's, the, that's how he would do it. All week. I'm going to think about that one. All week. That's how he lived his life. Moderation. Avoid extremes. Forbear resenting. Cleanliness. Take a bath. No. Tolerate no uncleanliness in the body. There's no excuse for that. Right? Say. That's what Ben said. I agree with him. Tranquility. Be not disturbed at trifles. Chastity. Now what he said was so old we couldn't hardly figure it out. <laughs> So we had to look it up in old Noah Webster's dictionary, and here's what we come up with. Be pure in conduct and intention. Thirteen, humility. Here's what it said. Imitate who? Jesus. And it also said, and Socrates. And his little thing. But So that's the thirteen virtues. Isn't that pretty cool, say? So when did he carry that with him? Just on Fridays. All the time. Ben Franklin. Love that. Where can you get the book? Figure it out. I don't know. Go online. Go online. You can find it. I'm sure it's, he found it, so you can find it. Yep, 13 virtues of Ben Franklin. What's cool is those virtues are right out of the Word of God. Isn't it? Did y'all notice those or not? Did you see anything new that was contrary to the Bible? No. Good stuff. We're done with the message today. The man wrote his own epitaph. Here it is. In his own hand, Benjamin Franklin's epitaph wrote by himself. Wrote himself. Here it is. The body of Ben Franklin, printer. Boy, he could have really put a lot more stuff than that, couldn't he? Humble even in his death. Like the body of an old book, its contents worn out and stripped of its lettering and gilding, lies here food for the worm. Yet the work shall not be lost, for it will, as he believed, appear once more in a new and a most beautiful edition, corrected and amended by, say it with me, the author. Amen. Yeah, come on. Praise the Lord. Good stuff. Amen. Are we done, brother? That's it. Benjamin Franklin and God we trust. Did you learn something today about men? Good stuff. Amen.